So today um, I'm chatting to Professor Omar Fenta from University of Pretoria and um, thank you so much for giving me some of your time on behalf of our students to chat about some really, really interesting topics. So to begin with, can you just give us a very brief um, introduction to give some context to the stuff that we're going to be discussing? Good, sure. Thank you very much, uh, Yvonne, and thank you for having me. It's, uh, I know we've been discussing um, this session for some time, and finally we, we get yeah. a slot that we, that we can um, have a conversation. So, yes, my name is Almar Fenter. Um, I am a professor of accounting at the University of Pretoria. I'm also just recently been appointed as the head of the Department of Accounting. Um, I'm a chartered accountant in academia, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to our conversation. Yeah. So one of the reasons that I wanted to, to chat with you was the concept of accounting education. Uh, when you, you know, when you say you're in academics, I think, you know, most people are sort of going, oh, okay, so you're, you're teaching, you know, you're teaching other people accounting. So I wanted to, to kind of expand students understanding of what accounting education is, because obviously it's a, it's a valuable channel and career path that I don't no is really on their radar in the way that it could be. So can yeah. you give us a bit of an indication about what accounting education is? Why is it important? I mean, what is there left to learn about accounting um, and why you're so passionate about it? I mean, that's, that's quite a, a loaded question, right? And I think we could probably <laughs> spend, up, yeah. spend, <laughs> just spend a, quite a bit of time on, on this one alone. But so obviously, I mean, there are two words in there, right? Accounting and culture. Um, and I think the, the first important thing is to ask, what is accounting? Uh, and you know, people have lots of perceptions about accountants, you know, being the bean counters or, you know, being the auditors that's coming to, to check stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but, I, I, you know, I think, unfortunately, a lot of those perceptions are, are out of touch with reality. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think many people make the decisions about accounting and a career and whether mm. it's going to be in practice or, you know, wherever, just based on their own perception of, of accounting. Um, but I believe that this is just such a core issue is to really ask, what is accounting? And, yeah, we, we, we have this diagram. And you, you are welcome Let me to, share. To, to, yeah. To share I, love, I love this diagram and I've started using it when I chat yes. to, to students, because I think it's such a great representation of the difference between exactly as it says, the perception and, and the reality. Yeah. So, I mean, on the left, is just what I spoke about is this perception that, you know, we just kind of put in, in data, we put in, you know, what happens out there through the accounting standards, you know, we put it through all our decision-making, you know, all the exceptions in IFRS yeah. 9. Paragraph 108, subparagraph C, <laughs> subparagraph 3, yeah. and then we have an yeah. answer. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there's some value to that. But if that's all that we're about, um, yeah. yeah, we're going we're gonna to run out of a profession soon. Uh, yeah, the, the rule base there, it is easy to program, and especially with artificial intelligence. Now, if it's sure. just black and white, if it's just yes or no, if sure. it's just decision paths, then a computer can do it. And why do we need... You know, why yeah, do we need just people going through a flow chart right yeah mm -hmm. and i think it's very easy when you're studying that this is what you see right because i mean that probably Absolutely. right up to post grad yeah. you're still focusing a lot on the rules and how to use them and how they work Absolutely. but i love the reality that you're talking about yes. um you know that that changes things up i think we all want to connect with something that has got a deeper meaning and a deeper purpose mm. and that that we believe as uh, you know an impact on society positive impact on society and is contributing to making the world a better place and yeah. so this blue diagram is just fantastic because i mean obviously you see right there at the top it's about making the making society a better place and yeah. i think the score of what this diagram is communicating is to say that at its essence if we break it down to its absolute bare minimum accountants or in the information business. And our role in society is to produce information, to develop standards, to mm. think around the assurance and the credibility mm. of this information so that there can be good decision-making um, in society at mm. various levels, right? Um, yeah. If you think about just all the types of information that mm. 
accountants are involved in that are used on a day-to-day -day basis for decision making it's about the information and it's about the yeah. quality of that information and that has real world implications yeah right yeah um, bad information bad decisions right good information good decisions yeah, yeah. now what i find i think quite astounding from this diagram and and this is something that really just dawned on me way after completing you know my 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 cta and right. is that there's such a big human factor in all of accounting mm. you know we typically mm. think of accountants as being the you know the the shy people the introverted people you know the very kind of into their their nose yeah. into the books but that's just far from reality because this, our whole profession is about human beings. Yeah. Um, you know, it's about, it, let's just take it from, let's take the standards, the accounting standards, the auditing standards. They are developed by humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then they are interpreted by humans um, to prepare financial statements or to audit the information. Yeah. That information that's prepared by humans are again interpreted by humans by to make humans, decisions yeah. Right? yeah so the human element in this mm. is so important and i think mm. that's when we start talking about education and saying right we actually need to understand way more than just you know the nth sub paragraph yeah of ifrs3 yeah um yes that's important right we need to get that right but what we deal with when we talk about accounting, it's mm. social science and it's humans. And that's why all these skills around, you know, communication, critical thinking, mm. business acumen, digital acumen, all these things become so crucially important. So that's accounting, right? And then mm. if we talk about education, it's about right, learning about this, mm. being intrigued. Um, and yeah, you're never gonna end, right? Because there's mm. there's just so much just so much out there. I mean, I think the process of becoming a chartered accountant is, is a very focused, very narrow road. Yeah. But at some point you, you step out of that and you realize, goodness, the world's a big place. The world's huge. <laughs> In terms of where, where accountants going and the concern that people have over the obsolescence or the potential obsolescence of accountants. Um, and again, in that image, the, the fact that there's so many more shades of gray than people are aware of and there's so much judgment involved and when you're studying the rules it doesn't come up you're not really that exposed to the fact that there is so much judgment involved in this and like you said there's such a human element things are so much more fluid so much more changing um, and so in order to navigate that type of world you need a certain set of skills and just yeah. having the skill of going this is right this is wrong is sure. going to leave you in the dust you know that the moment something happens that's slightly different, you have no rules, you can't, you know, you can't do anything yeah. anymore. And I think those are the skills um, that people are not necessarily aware of that future proofs us, if you will. Oh, you know, if it was just rules and it always works exactly the same, then there's no need for us.